Over the past two days, we have relayed stories from two sworn declarations filed this week by former employees of Blackwater, which now calls itself Z, spelled X-E. In our third story tonight, the big picture and more detail about an organization the four-year executive known only as John Doe No. 2 describes as criminal in its very DNA. Blackwater, Z's corporate structure designed by right-wing evangelical Christian founder Eric Prince to perpetrate and conceal a vast range of crimes, everything from creating multiple companies to basing some offshore to changing names all the way from A to Z. There is an accusation included here of child prostitution, but first, murder. John Doe, number one, former Marine, quote, I personally observed multiple incidents of Blackwater personnel intentionally using unnecessary, excessive, and unjustified deadly force. Macuba near RPG Alley. The driver was not heading directly towards us. Blackwater almost immediately began firing. Outside Baghdad, Blackwater fired without cause repeatedly at a car. Outside forward operating base Warhorse, Blackwater open, or operated with uh, op, open fire rather with the illegal weapon on a vehicle near the gate for no reason. Another shooter who had no reason for firing was bragging and gloating about his kill. From the former executive's sworn declaration, quote, Mr. Prince intentionally deployed to Iraq certain men who shared his vision of Christian supremacy, knowing and wanting these men to take every available opportunity to murder Iraqis. Prince, quote, knew the men being deployed were not suitable candidates for carrying lethal weaponry, but did not care because deployments meant more money. Supervisors sent men back to the states for reasons including saying they wanted to kill ragheads or rack up body counts for excessive drinking, for steroid use, for failure to follow rules for lethal weaponry. Quote, Mr. Prince and his executives would send them back to be deployed in Iraq with an express instruction to the supervisors to stop costing the company money. One supervisor put the shooter who bragged about his kill on the do not use list. Z took him off the list and put him back on the street. Prince allegedly not only overruling those who raised warning flags, but firing them as well. Prince, quote, terminated those mental health professionals who were not willing to endorse deployments of unfit men. Z reportedly hired at least 37 Seven alumni of Chilean dictator Augusto Pinochet. Congressman had, uh, the Congress had asked Prince about recruits from the Balkans. Some linked to atrocities committed in Croatia and Kosovo and, uh, and, and Bosnia and uh, uh, associates of uh, Milosevic. I'm wondering if you uh, could talk to me about that for a minute. Uh, to my knowledge, we've never uh, employed anyone out of, um, out of those countries. Quoting John Doe number two, Prince knowingly hired two persons who were previously involved in the Kosovo sex trafficking ring to serve at relatively high levels within his companies. In all, Z, quote, unnecessarily killed scores of innocent Iraqis. Scores. And then covered it up, according to John Doe number one. The Bakuba shooting. Blackwater failed to report the incident. Outside Baghdad, Blackwater misled the State Department into believing that the murder was a justified use of force. FOB Warhorse. Blackwater failed to report the incident. And Blackwater taped all of it, he says, destroying every single tape afterward. How far would Prince go? The former executive claims, quote, it appears that Prince murdered or had murdered one or more persons who were planning to provide information to the federal authorities, end quote. Both John Doe's, anonymous for fear of their own lives, number two reporting, Z management personally threatened me with death. Quote, Mr. Prince created and operated this web of companies in order to obscure wrong going, wrong wrongdoing, fraud, and other crimes. Shredded and destroyed many incriminating videotapes, documents, and emails. Transferred funds, quote, to avoid detection of his money laundering and tax evasions. Smuggled weapons, quote, on Mr. Prince's private planes and hid the revenue from his illegal weapons trade. Roy Mettinger resigned as chief financial officer, stating he was not willing to go to jail for Eric Prince. His team included Bush veterans allegedly schooled in deception, Kofer Black, a top counter-terror official during torture and rendition, some of it carried out on Blackwater jets, testified to Congress the FBI had certain 9-11 intel. This was not the case, the 9-11 report concluded. Robert Richer, CIA Deputy Director for Clandestine Ops, who has denied journalist Ron Suskind's claim that he helped for, uh, forge a bogus Iraqi document that linked Saddam Hussein to the 9-11 hijackers. Joseph Schmitz, Bush's Pentagon Inspector General, who redacted names of Bush officials from his report on a controversial Boeing procurement at the request of the Bush White House, blocking Congress from investigating them. It was Schmitz, John Doe too tells us, whom Prince asked to investigate a dispute among his execs at his headquarters. What was that about? Prince's North Carolina operations had an ongoing wife swapping and sex ring, which was participated in by many members of Mr. Prince's top executives. 
Z operatives in Iraq are the subject of even more lurid accusations. We told you last night about the illegal ammo that Mr. Prince allegedly smuggled to his men in Iraq that pierced armor and then detonated from the heat of warm flesh, as well as hand grenades, grenade launchers, and small arms. The lawsuit itself claims trial will show that Z, quote, obtained and distributed steroids and kept his enterprise running by, quote, having young girls provide oral sex to enterprise members in the Blackwater Man Camp in exchange for one American dollar. John Doe II's declaration, quote, Prince frequently visited the Blackwater Man Camp during his trip overseas. Mr. Prince failed to stop the ongoing use of prostitutes, including child prostitutes, by his men. The company Z denies everything. In late 2007, Mr. Prince told Congress his company had done nothing wrong. Every life, whether American or Iraqi, is precious. I stress to the committee and to the American public, however, that I believe we acted appropriately at all times. Just as he denied smuggling 900 weapons, to which two Z workers then pleaded guilty. Just as he denied wrongdoing in the 2007 massacre of 17 unarmed Iraqis in Baghdad, to which one of his shooters pleaded guilty, admitting the Iraqis were innocent, some of them running away or with their hands up. And still getting U.S. dollars for its last contract there, Blackwater is two years later, still in Iraq today. Tomorrow, Mr. Prince's brand of devout Christianity and Blackwater's very literal modern-day crusades.